chest and today I want to share with you this awesome chord progression in the key of B minor. Now I am finally back playing the electric guitar which I didn't play in a very long time. Now I'm finally back practicing it and so I thought it would be cool to share with you the things that I'm playing, the things that I'm practicing and the type of music that I'm recording. Now for this chord progression in B minor we are playing two chords. A B minor chord and a G major chord. And then we're going to change things around and play the A major as well. Now this is the stuff I'm going to be using, my guitar, electric guitar, PRS. And then I'm going to go straight into my universal audio. I'm using a Marshall right now. Uh, the volume is very low, but it still kind of breaks a little bit. I also have a little bit of reverb and a lot of delay. Now one of the things that I like about this chord progression is the fact that we can use these awesome voicings within the chord, like this. played on low E string fret number 7 and the G string fret number 7, the root note and the minor 3rd. And then the B string open which is going to be another root note. Now the picking pattern is pretty simple, we have two down strokes on the low E string and the G string and then an up stroke on the B string open. Now we're going to do it twice and the third time we're only going to strike the low E string and then the G string. So then we're going to change the voicing and we're going to change this chord from a B minor chord to a B sus2. So I'm going to change the G string from fret 7 to fret number 6, the C sharp. And then we'll go back to the same chord, the B minor. So we're going to do it twice. Last note I'm playing is the G string open, okay? So, and then I change chord and I play this beautiful G major. Now the arpeggio, the picking pattern is the same. Uh, we're gonna have the low E string, the G string open with a down stroke and then an up stroke on the B string. Then the bass, and then I'm gonna strum the top three strings with the E string fret number three again and I let it ring out and then again the second time I'm gonna play this beautiful G major seven chord so the arpeggio is twice the bass note and then I'm gonna do an up stroke with the E string fret number two the B string fret number three and the G string open I'm using the bar here to add a little bit of vibrato. If you don't have this one, you can just shake your guitar. Now this alone is already a nice chord progression. If you loop it and you play it over and over, it's just a nice thing to record and you can, you know, uh, play along using the B minor scale or the B minor pentatonic scale. However, we can change it up a little bit like this. Now we're only going to change the B minor chord. Now it's basically the same thing, we're only going to change uh, the voicing of this chord. So we're going to have the same arpeggio twice, then the bass, and then the top E string fret number 7, which is another B, it's still the same root note. And then we change the voicing and we play the B sus too.
So it's basically the same thing. We're just gonna change the voicing on the B minor to diversify the chord progression. Now, in order to give a structure to the exercise, we can change the chord progression and we can open up with this beautiful chord, the A major chord. And we're gonna play like this. Now the A major chord is very simple to play. We have the root note on the low E string fret number five, the G string fret number six with the C sharp, the major third, and the B string open, which is this beautiful nine, okay? Major nine, this is an A add nine chord. Now the arpeggio is the same. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Then we have the A string open, twice, and then a short phrase. On the G string, fret number two and four, and fret number two and three on the B string. And the G major chord, which is played with the same shape, on fret three and four. And the arpeggio is the same. Then the bass. And then a phrase with just two notes on the B string for number two and three. Back to the A. have this a nice phrase with the pentatonic scale, then all the G on fret 3, A on fret number 5, slide to fret number 7, and the A string fret number 5 with the note D. And then we'll go back to the same chord progression. over the chord progression using the B minor chord, the B minor chord, and the G major chord. And I mainly used one scale, the B minor pentatonic scale, which is this one. Guys, let me know in the comment down below if you would like me to show you how to improvise over this backing track using the B minor pentatonic scale and also the B minor scale. For now, I'm gonna leave you to practice this beautiful chord progression. Take it step by step, guys. Enjoy these chords, and I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.